Here we demonstrate how it only takes a few minutes to self-register and log into the license applications repository. It is assumed you have already reviewed browser hints and tips before reviewing this material. Please note, you only need to register for a new account if you are not an existing UK Oil Portal user. UK Oil Portal users can log into the license applications repository using their existing portal username and password. If you already have a UK Oil Portal username and password, please bypass this registration process and go directly to existing user login instructions using your portal login details. So assuming you are a completely new user, this is how you get started. Start your web browser from your desktop. In the browser address bar, enter the internet address provided in the licensing round announcement and press enter. Here you are presented with the licensing round guidance. Please read the guidance thoroughly to ensure you fully understand how to properly complete your application and the application process. To start registration and login, click on Begin Application, found in the Apply Online section on the right. This will take you to the License Applications Repository login page. Now click on New Account Registration, found in the New Account section. This will take you to the Self Registration page. Please read the instructions at the top of the screen carefully, then complete the form. Move the mouse over the first input box and click to position the keyboard cursor before you start typing. Move to the next input box by using the tab key on the keyboard or by positioning the mouse again. Special care is required when entering the telephone number. When entering a UK telephone number, type in telephone exchange STD code. Then leave a space before entering the rest of the number. When entering an international telephone number, type plus followed by the international dialing direct country code. Then leave a space and enter the national dialing direct digits in brackets. This is important as these digits are not used when dialing from abroad. Lastly enter the remainder of the telephone exchange STD code, and then leave a space, before entering the rest of the number. Remember additional help is available, by positioning the mouse over hint icons. Continue completing the form. Your date of birth can be entered directly, or by using the date tool icon. Dates are entered in UK format, that is, day, month, and year, using any reasonable separate or event spaces. Months can be entered using words or numbers. The security image helps us prevent against internet attackers. If you cannot read the letters and numbers clearly, click the hyperlink under the image. Simply input what you see into the security code. You should now be ready to submit your registration by pressing the register button at the bottom of the page. If you have not completed the form correctly, red cross icons will be shown. Position the mouse over the red cross to see the nature of the problem, correct it and try again. As soon as your registration is received you are taken to the Activate User Account page. A temporary login password is immediately emailed to the address you provided. As soon as you pick up your temporary password, you will be able to complete the account activation page and login. When you have logged in you will be taken to your work basket page. This is covered in more detail later in work basket navigation. To log out, use the hyperlink at the top right of the work basket. Don't worry if your temporary password does not come through right away. When it does, just use it to log in normally. You will automatically be taken to the account activation page where you can complete the activation process. Please take care to remember your username and the password you choose during activation, as you will need these each time you log in.